This is going to be one of the coolest video tutorials from Studio Devil because this one shows you how to get guitar amp modeling on your Mac for free. Studio Devil provides a free plugin called British Valve Custom, which is a emulation of a Marshall stack amplifier, and it's totally free. You could download that um, from their website. And Apple makes a free plugin chainer audio utility that allows you to run plugins uh, live on your Mac for free called AU Lab. And AU Lab is a utility that comes with their Xcode development environment, which is free. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to get AU Lab. Um, if we launch Firefox or some browser and go to Google, we can say, we can type in download Xcode and that'll show us where to get it. We basically have to get it from the Apple Developer Center. Um, we're going to click on Mac Dev Center. Uh, and then we're going to see here that, um, well, one of the things you have to do is you have to make sure that you have an Apple developer account. Um, if you don't, you need to sign up for one and it'll ask you to log in. But then once you log in, then you'll have access to these things. It's totally free and they don't hassle you with emails and stuff. It's very cool. So we can uh, basically download Xcode. And it's a really, really big file. It's like... Uh, what is it here? Almost three gigabytes. So that's going to take a while. So we're going to close that out because we've already done that. Uh, and then once you download and install Xcode, um, if you launch the Finder, you'll see and go to your hard drive, you'll see that it's added a developer folder to your hard drive. You want to go into there uh, and then you want to go into Applications. This is not your regular Applications folder. This is under Developer Applications. Then you want to go into Audio. And here you'll see this really cool program, AU Lab. And that's the program that we're going to run and, and basically use as a free plug-in chainer for real-time use. Um, at this point, you want to drag and add that to your dock. We already have it on the dock because it's kind of hard to get to this. So uh, having it on the dock will allow us to, to get there quicker. Okay, once you do that, then you want to go to StudioDevil.com. And StudioDevil.com... If you go to the products uh, section and scroll down to um, British Valve Custom, okay, uh, you can basically come and download our free uh, plugin. Uh, once you download it and install it, then you'll have it as an AU plugin. We've already done that here too, so we're not going to bother going through that step. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use AU Lab with Studio Double. So the first thing we'll do is we'll launch AU Lab. It comes up very quickly. It already defaults to having an output, so we're good there. We're going to click Next. We want to make sure we add an input. Okay. We want to click Next. Now we want to choose the right audio device. It defaults to the built-in output, and we don't want to use that. We want to use whatever um, audio device we have plugged in and set up with our speakers and our guitar. So at this point, you want to make sure that you have your um, hardware plugged in and powered up. Um, you also want to make sure that you have your guitar plugged in and the volume knob uh, turned up uh, to make sure that if you don't have a signal that it's not from something silly like that. Um, if you don't, then you want to exit AU Lab, power it all up, get it all set up, and then come back and turn it on. And then you'll find the right device here. In this case, we're using a DigiDesign Mbox 2 Mini. So we're going to make sure we select that. And we're going to click on Input Channels, make sure it's also selected there, and click Done. So now what we have is we, we basically now have AU Lab up and running. And uh, we're going to basically make sure that we have some kind of a signal coming through. And you can see that we do. We can hear it coming through our speakers and through um, AU Lab. Uh, one thing we may want to check out is we may want to go to AU Lab Preferences. Uh, and then go on to, um, I believe it's Devices. And then click on the the device that we're using, in this case the DigiDesign Mbox, in your case it may be something different. And we want to check the frames folder. If the frame folder is too high, you'll hear uh, a latency, like let's set it really high, like 2048. You can see when I pick, the sound comes out later. We don't want that. So we want to get that as low as we can. Uh, 128 samples is fine. Uh, you can go down to 64 if you really care to, but I'm going to leave it at 128. So 128 or less is usually good there. We're going to close that out. Now we're going to insert the plugin. So we're going to go right here to our track under uh, uh, basically effects, which is right over here. 
We're going to open that up. I'm going to see that we have a whole bunch of effects to choose from. There's a Studio Devil folder. This will list all the uh, audio units, plugins that we have installed. And uh, we're going to choose uh, Studio Devil British Valve Custom. And there it is. So let's see if that's working. <laughs> That's it. We got ourselves up and running with Studio Devil British Valve Custom and Apple's AU Lab. So let's review that one more time. Uh, we're basically going to download Xcode from Apple, install it, and then we'll find AU Lab under the developer uh, folder. We have a new folder called developer, and we're going to go into uh, applications, audio. And that's where we'll find AU Lab. We're going to put that on the dock so we can use it again later. Um, we're then going to go to StudioDevil.com and download British Valve Custom and install that. We're then going to plug in and power up our hardware, launch AU Lab and set up an input, and basically insert an effect on a track and we're up and running. <laughs> Great. Uh, so now we can actually close this out. We can save it. In this case, we're going to save it to the desktop. We're going to call it Studio Devil Free because it's a lot of fun when things are free. I'm going to click Save. Now this is pretty cool. We can drag this actually over to the right side of our, of our dock, right next to the trash, but not in the trash. And now we got ourselves a little icon that whenever we want to use Studio Devil for free, we can just click on it, and we're up and running. Well, that's it. I want to thank you for taking time to watch and find out how to use Studio Devil for free on your Mac. Um, please be sure to join us uh, or to visit us at studiodevil.com to download the latest uh, versions of our plugins and to check out some of the commercial plugins we have as well. Thanks again.